Hey everybody, I'm Chris at Wolf Ridge Manufacturing. Today is a beautiful day, uh, overcast skies, a little bit, little bit of sun peeking out here and there, but the humidity is going down and uh, we want to take a look at a machine and uh, take a look at wedge selection and which machine is going to work best for your situation. Hang tight, let's get at it. All right, so we're out back here in the wood yard. You can see we got a bunch of end cuts and giant pile there's about 20 cord of wood back in that pile back there and uh, getting geared up for winter got all these totes ready to go all that's hard maple and then we got down here we got um, probably uh, 15 totes of birch for the indoor fireplace people and then uh, yeah still got Still got three truckloads of wood to process yet for this fall, and uh, we gotta get that done here pretty quick. But today, we're gonna do some splitting. All right, so today we're gonna take a look at um, wedge selection and which machine is gonna work best for you. Guys up north have you know red oak, white oak, ash, maple, those easier splitting woods. I'm always gonna recommend a 28 ton machine. You know, and you can pick from a 28 Pro all the way up to a 28 SHO. You know, it just depends on how much you have for your budget and, um, you know, how fast you need it to go. Um, for the guys down south, you know, Tennessee, Missouri, um, anybody who's getting, you know, hickory primarily, um, eucalyptus, elm, gum, um, guys really far down south get the live oak with that all that twisty grain we're definitely going to recommend the 35 ton machines and again you can go it all the way down from the 35 c all the way up to a 35 sho um, but those are kind of the guidelines that we go by and uh, i think that's really you know most people are really happy with that decision you know based on that knowledge um, the, the hydraulic four-way comes with each machine and that is the most, probably the most used wedge, you know, in the commercial firewood industry is, is a four-way wedge. Um, you get your nice clean split sizes or your nice clean splits and, um, it's the most versatile, um, wedge you have. Um, and then we offer the six-way wedge, which is going to work best on your, 10 inch, 12 inch, maybe up to like a 14 inch size diameter. Really works best for a six way, so you can just do one pass through and be done. And then the final step up here at Wolf Ridge, we have the 12 way Wicked Wedge. And this is what we recommend if you're doing fireplace size wood, uh, bundled wood, up to like an 18 inch diameter on uh, on the 12 way wedge that works really well so a lot of times we're just leaving the 12 way wedge on pushing everything through that's you know 8 to 18 inch you know and that seems to work really well too so um, but we're going to run some wood through um, we're going to run some wood through each different size wedge here and show you all what we come up with Hang tight. All right, so we got the splitter fired up. That's getting warmed up here. Uh, first off, we're gonna start with a four-way wedge, and we got some six to eight-inch rounds here. Those are gonna be like perfect splits for the four-way, and uh, show you how we do.
right, so that was the four-way wedge on some six to eight inch diameter rounds and see what we come up with here. These are gonna be a good bundle wood size, fireplace size, a little small for indoor furnaces, and of course, boiler wood, you want a lot bigger chunks, so. All right, so next up, we got the six-way wedge, and we're gonna split some nine to 12 inch diameter stuff, and that's usually gonna be pretty good for a little larger fireplace size, but uh, I think that's, you know, probably the go-to size for the six-way wedge. All right, so that was what we got with a six-way wedge. Now this is all white ash, so it splits pretty easy. But uh, of course the bark's falling right off. Pretty good size, a little bigger for uh, like overnight stuff for the fireplace, but uh, I think a lot, of, a lot of folks are gonna be happy with that size. Lastly, lastly we're gonna take a look at the 12-way wedge. And uh, we got about a 12, 12 inch diameter, maybe a couple 14s down here. Those are a really good size for the 12-way wedge. Um, you're gonna end up some even splits around the outside here. And then the, the pieces that come out of the middle, these two pieces here are gonna be about two and a half inches wide by about four inches, four and a half inches long. Kind of a trapezoid shape, but they're gonna be great for burning. Uh, more of an overnight burn for a fireplace. Um, you know, daytime stuff for an indoor stove. But uh, really good size mixture comes out of this 12-way. So let's fire it up and we'll take a look. All right, so that was a 12-way, and this was a little spalted maple. Uh, this is hard maple, but it's a little spalted. You can see the you can see the black in that wood to, in wood there. Um, it's kind of crumbling apart more than uh, splitting, but uh, kind of show you the size that comes out. That's the center of the 12-way right there. The rest of the pieces. This one came out of the bottom of the 12-way. This is another middle, and uh, stuff from the outside here. More of like a bundle size, bundle size pieces there. So good looking stuff though. Minus all the spalted trash. All right, so guys, that was our 35C running all the different size wedges. And of course, a 28C is a little faster. This one has a little more power if you're doing really stringy stuff or if you want to run that 12 way wedge, uh, we recommend the 35 ton machines. Um, some of that stuff was a little, punky and spalted, but uh, you kind of get the, the gist of the sizes. I hope that really helps some people out uh, making a decision on, you know, which machine they should use uh, or order and uh, which wedges they think is, are going to help their business grow. And uh, of course, you know, these machines are expensive, so we want to make sure that you're happy with the machine when you get it. And, uh, you know, if needed, we can make some changes later on. But uh, Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. And of course, 
If you haven't heard already, we're giving away a 500i here really soon. So definitely hit that subscribe button and uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments, all right? Take care, guys. Thanks.